So over the years, I've cultivated quite a collection of books that I've read about physics and maths. And in this episode, I thought I may share with you some of the books that I think is quite worth reading if you, if you want to start learning about physics and maths in 2025. Just to outline this video, I'll be dividing the books into few major sections, including popular science and some more technical stuff. So if you start with the classic of the classic, Richard Feynman's Six Easy Piece. Richard Feynman is really known for his, apart from his, obviously his work as a scientist, he's also quite known for being a good teacher. Well, good as he understatement, I guess. But he's quite known for being able to communicate science to the general public. So the Six Easy Piece are actually taken from one of his lecture series in Caltech, I think. And so it covers quite a lot of really core cool idea about physics, from conservation of energy or atoms and and how physics relate to other science. This book is quite a good introduction to physics for anyone that's curious about it. But even as someone that have studied physics for quite a few years now, I still find this book to be really valuable. Now, once you're ready with this book, you can move on to its sequel, which is the sixth not so easy piece. It's also taken from the same lecture series, however, a bit tackling some of the more um, challenging topics like general relativity. So, as something that's slightly more technical but also by Feynman, is the QED. Feynman is really known for his work in quantum electrodynamic or QED for short. And yeah, this book, I think I read it when I was in year 10. Um, actually, on read it on a trip to Barcelona, I think. And yeah, it's quite a fun book to read. Now, up next, again, also by Richard Feynman. But this book is not so much of a physics book, but paragraph about uh, Richard Feynman as a scientist and how he thinks. Up next, we have this book. Um, how to teach quantum physics to your dog and I think I read it in year 9 you could learn quite a lot of quantum mechanics not so much about the mathematical rigors of quantum mechanics per se but it introduced quite a lot of um, important ideas like Heisenberg uncertain principle which is quite fundamental to the idea of quantum mechanics and this book sort of summarize it in quite a good conceptual way. So once you're more mathematical, you might want to tackle a book that's slightly between technical textbook, but also something that's slightly tailored to general public. And that is Lennox Eskine's um, Theoretical Minimum series. And interesting enough, Lennox Eskine is one of the friends of Richard Feynman. And he's known as um, the father of string theory and so this book is quite I, I would say it's quite hard in, in some way I've, I remember when I first read this book it didn't make that much sense to me at the time because I did mathematics to fully understand what is going on but nonetheless it is still quite a good book to get a basic understanding even though you, you may not understand every single thing and I feel here of the same series. There's also one that's on special relativity, I think. I only have the classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, and the general rel relativity. And nonetheless, I still think it's quite worth reading. Okay, so next is some more technical books that might be some of the most common university textbook that you might. Personally, I really like this book. It's by Hugh Young and it's University of Physics with modern physics. It's actually one of the books that I constantly refer to for exercise and also um, trying to explain things to me. It it covers quite, as you can see, it's quite a big book and it covers quite a lot of examples and also explain things quite, um, I wanna say simply, but it's definitely, some, it's definitely easy to follow once you sort of understand what is going on and so yeah it's worth reading um, and having in your in your collection 
And speaking of textbook, one of the most important textbooks, well, few of the most important textbooks in physics is by David Griffiths. And here I have the lecture dynamics and also uh, quantum mechanics. And what's really good about this book is, again, it's in a very accessible way that I think many people would be able to understand once you understand the maths. Obviously, uh, electrodynamics and quantum mechanics requires a lot of maths, but once you have those, it should be quite easy enough to follow without any major problems. Um, unlike some textbooks that might sort of be a bit shady about how you understand things and so I think those two are quite good. So as mentioned, maths is really important to the understanding of physics. After all, maths is the language of physics, I think. And I, I'm sure many agree. When you have read all those popular science books, you may start to realise that you don't, it might not entirely make sense because you don't have the maps. The maps is the language describing our universe and it only makes sense once you have those maps. And so some of the most important maps textbook and one of my favourite is this, Mathematical Methods in the Physical Science by Burroughs. There's also another one that's by Riley, Mathematical Methods for Physicists and Scientists, I think, and it's by Riley. There's quite a lot of books um, on mathematical science and definitely you should pick one up if you could. Um, personally, I feel like the Riley's book cover much more topics, but um, the Burroughs one covers in more depth and it definitely gives more explanation um, on what's going on. But if you're a mathematician, you might find it to be slightly less rigorous than the Riley, which is much more mathematical and much more rigorous. And in the next category, it's some books that I think is good to read alongside um, those other books, or if you're doing a course in university, it's good to have those. But as I mentioned in the Contents Matter in a Week video, you may feel it here. Um, this book, Physics as Student Companion by Kirby, is quite a good book. It's basically a compilation of lecture notes um, taken by the author when she was doing a degree in Oxford. Now I wouldn't say it's good to learn things from this book per se, but it's really good to refer to it when you don't entirely understand a topic and it might be able to offer you some insight as to how to understand this stuff. And it's definitely a good supplement to um, the other books that I've mentioned. And finally, this book is How to Think Like a Mathematician. So this book, I think, has some of the most useful tips and, and tools that you can have to do undergraduate physics or even, actually, it's, I think it's actually tailored for undergrad mathematics. And in the books, it talks about a lot of um, about proof writing and like writing mathematical proofs, and also how to approach your problems. And so yeah, I, I do think it's quite a good books to read, especially if you're a mathematician. Now, obviously, I can't cover every single book in this video, but I think those are some of the most um, helpful books that I've read over the years, and. Hopefully it could be useful for you as well. But as usual, if you have any good suggestion, do feel free to um, comment it below. And I'll see you in the next episode.